What's going on, good people? How's everybody doing on this Sunday afternoon? I am in my favorite spot where I love to be. Tim Hortons, enjoying me some coffee. Mm. Best coffee. And guess what else I got? Got me a cookie. A cookie cookie. Mm -mm -mm. So look, I've turned YouTube off for the weekend. What's going on, Jasmine? You all right? I turned YouTube off for the weekend because I wanted to spend some quality time with my loved ones at home. And I turn on YouTube. This Life is Good 73. Good afternoon to you as well. So I turn on YouTube and I see Jaded Nerd going off. Now, Jaded Nerd is a YouTube content person. Oh, by the way, y'all, this is this is all beef sector stuff today. On my on my um titles, if you see a little piece of meat, that means it's beef sector. So if you're not in the beef sector, you know, don't watch it. What's going on, Miss Cruiser? But look, so check this out. I'm catching up on YouTube and I go to Jaded Nerd. My man Jaded Nerd. Y'all know Jaded Nerd. Jaded Nerd is cool, collective individual, analytical, um puts together some great videos, can read with the best of them, and he's going off on Jay Wilson. And I'm like, Jay the Nerd, what did, what did Jay Wilson do for you to go off? And of course, everybody who knows, love Jay Wilson, know, everybody who knows Jay Wilson knows Jay Wilson comes off with the hypocrisy. So if y'all get a chance, check out Jay the Nerd's video where he just talks about the hypocrisy of Jay Wilson and for Jay the nerd for him to start cussing and for him to take off his glasses <laughs> you know he's mad <laughs> and Jay the nerd went off on on once again the hypocrisy of Jay Wilson and I'd be wondering why do people be going off on Jay Wilson so much but if you just look at what he does and says um he said Jay Wilson says one thing but then does another man Look, Jay the Nerd was going off so hard on him. I took I took notes. <laughs> Jay the Nerd, Jay the Nerd was saying the hypocrisy of Jay Wilson. The fact that he says one thing and then does another thing. So I guess Jay Wilson's trying to get on Jay the Nerd for his uh criticism, a constructive criticism. And of course, Jay Wilson likes to be the vlog father. And he comes off as if he's all knowing and uh, he's going to tell you how to run your business. But Jay the Nerd was like, you going to tell me how to run my business. But hey, dude, do you know how to run your, your own business? So check out Jay the, Nerd's, um, Jay the Nerd's page when he went off on Jay Wilson. Hey, everybody coming in the room. What's going on, Rico, California girl, Blackheart Misses, Life is Good, December Baby. Emotion 94602. Good to see y'all. Hey, did y'all watch? Did y'all check out that video where Jay the Nerd went off on Jay Wilson? Unbelievable. Jay the Nerd said, you don't know if you want to talk about Jay Wilson. Jay the Nerd said, look, Jay Wilson, you don't know if you want to be the Joel Osteen or the Real Housewives of Atlanta. <laughs> or you want to do messy videos or whether or not you want to preach. What's up, Tracy with the T? Yeah, I know. I know. Man, Jay the Nerd, like I said, Jay the Nerd is one of those guys where he's cool and calm and collective and analytical, but you keep pushing, meddling at him. When he goes off, he goes off. <laughs> oh my gosh. He talks about the sexual honesty, Jay Wilson being forced out the closet because of catfishing. Oh man, Jay the, Jay the Nerd. Say you may you want to be the say Jay Wilson you want to be the vlog father, uh, but you're not the only one that makes videos. Man, it was it was like I said, go check out Jay the Nerd. I like Jay the Nerd, like Jay Wilson too. But Jay the Nerd really points out and enumerates and lists the hypocrisy of Jay Wilson. Jay Wilson, Jay Wilson. Hey, Mister YouTube Streets, Jasmine Evan Star. I'm talking about Jay the Nerd when he went off on um, Jay Wilson. I wanted y'all to see that. Then, 
I turn on my YouTube because, like I said, I kind of took the weekend off. Just want to pay a little more attention to home and people in the house, you know. And, um, man, I saw mother, Mr. James Caldwell, going off on none other than Trout Mouth. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. I saw James Caldwell going off on um, Sean Bradley. And, and... So with James Caldwell, you know, James Caldwell, he's an author. He's written many books, right? And so James Caldwell was speaking on the Read of Philadelphia, her book. Actually, I bought I bought her book. I bought her book. I bought the read. I got on my Kindle. And I've been reading it and walking it. And I actually bought the book. And um, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. And so, so James Caldwell was was saying how um, Sean Bradley is upset about it. And I was wondering why everybody on Sean Bradley's team is upset about this book, which, you know, it has a few typical graphical errors, but it's it's really a good book, especially if, you, if you've been around and you know the story. I wasn't even thinking about buying the book until um, Bradley and all those other people started talking down about the sister. They start talking about down about the sick sister. I said, let me buy the book and support her. And I was like, why, why is Bradley and his team upset about this book? But Caldwell put it this way. He said, look at here. Here's the deal. Bradley has this thing in Atlanta where they got a, a TV show, a movie or something. But the reader Philadelphia kind of beat him to the punch because she wrote a book about it. And so now they're trying to mess up her money, her situation, by having people read the book. What you say, Tracy? Because they are, uh, Tracy said, because they may not be a show, I adore the read. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I'm like, ain't that about a B? Instead of supporting this lady, they're going to try to tear down this lady. And then Sean Bradley's going to tell his followers to read the lady's book, which, of course, is against all type of copyright rules and laws. And Carl will say how, how Bradley's going to tell his people to read the book on their channel. But guess what? Bradley's not reading nothing on his channel because he knows better. Isn't that, some, isn't that something? But I tell you, the, the best reads, the best roasts, the best gags are done by people who know each other. You know, Jada the Nerd, and Jay Wilson, they have a relationship, so they know each other over time. Of course, Caldwell and um, Bradley, they know each other over time. And I understand that Caldwell goes on with some more videos that he's going. I, look, I'm I'm still on Friday, y'all. I got to catch up on the videos. I'm still on Friday where Caldwell was talking about the book and Sean Bradley telling his people like dummies to read the doggone book online, which is crazy. Don't read that book because you're going you're gonna to get a copyright strike and lose your channel. And plus, why would you not support the sister? Why would you not support her? Come on now. Your little TV show, whatever y'all doing, y'all want that supported. Show the love. You know? But anyway, we'll see what's going on. Benji Talk VIP exactly. All right. All right. Sephora C. I bought the paperback version. I got the Kindle version. And actually, I wasn't really even thinking about the book because, like I said, I've been in the bushes since T.S. Madison and Kaya first came together because I'm a Kaya fan. I rock with Kaya. I watch her. I, love, I enjoy her stuff. <laughs> I know she may not be popular in these neck of the woods, but I wasn't even going to buy the book until they started talking about um, the Reader of Philadelphia and just dogging her out. Even old Jay Wilson going to call her book a PowerPoint presentation. Jay Wilson, how the heck can you talk about anybody's book, man? And you put together that doggone pamphlet, man. Get the hell, get out of here, Jay Wilson. But anyway, anyway, y'all, get the book if you can get it. Read it. I'm halfway through it. I'm on the part of, um, what's this guy, Fish-Eyed? I think the Fish-Eyed Fool. I'm, I'm where he's being introduced and uh, I'm in, look, I'm enjoying figuring out who all the characters are. I got Lolo with the low. That's you, Treasy. <laughs> I know that. And then Pastor Lonnie Love. That's um, uh, that's Jay Wilson, right? And hold on. And I ain't reading the book. Like I said, go get the book. Let's see. Um, yeah, it's pretty interesting because because what drew me into this beef sector, I'll be honest, was. I couldn't turn it off watching that doggone uh, VS 
and and what her and her team were doing. I was like, I can't, I can't believe this. And so that's what drew me into the beef sector, you know. So I think it's pretty cool. Let's see who else. Uh, Zodiac, Zodiac. That's um, that's seven stars. And then um, I'm on the part where um, yeah, the fish eye fool, the fish eye fool. That's that's what page I'm on. I'm I'm pretty sure that's gonna be um, who y'all think the fish eye fool gonna be? Fish eye fool. <laughs> That's gonna be uh yeah yeah <laughs> thanks Rico the fish eye Wally Rico are you in this book anyway but this is the first part and I think she has three more two more parts once again Sean Bradley whatever they do hey I'm gonna support you well yeah I think I, I will go support you but now you come out this lady whatever people do support them you know if you don't like it just sit there and shut up but for you to tell your people not to read to read the book online and mess up her money man that's weak kang that's real weak <laughs> anyway let's see miss cruiser folks who are not familiar with the b sector would also enjoy it my sister read it and said these people really right 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 it's almost like if somebody wrote a book i'm sorry i don't know why i'm yelling let me calm down it's almost like it's somebody, I know I'm yelling because I haven't been on YouTube in three days. Anyway, um, I snuck out the house to get some coffee. Hope my wife don't see me talking to y'all. But look, it's almost like um, when you read this and you say this is a fictional book based on true life stories, you know, it's like no way in the world would adults be having funerals online to try to get at somebody's you know, deceased loved one. No way in the world will somebody online be calling um, the foster care to get people's kids taken get to, taken away from. It's it's so it's almost unbelievable. And I think that's the attraction to me of the beef sector was like, does this thing really go on? Is this really people doing this? And let's say when it came to the chaos, when it came to the mayhem, when it came to the confusion, um, that miss um. TC, that TC character and her group, man, they, they, they brought it, you know, it's not right, but guess what? It's almost like a train wreck or crash, cra uh, train wreck or crash. You just can't look away from it. You're like, I got to see what happens next. <laughs> anyway, those are my thoughts, y'all. Let's see what y'all talking about. Uh, this Life is good, says, says that says a lot about B sector participants. Yeah, unbelievable. Yep, unbelievable. Sephora C says they want us to support the show. So, what's the big deal? Right. I mean, it's enough love to go around everywhere. You know, don't get upset about it. Let's see. Ah, uh, okay. Who King Trout? Come on there. Y'all know. <laughs> Y'all know who King Trout is. <laughs> King Trout, that was an easy one. That's um, come on, chat. Tell them who King Trout is. And then uh, what's another character I saw? Actually, I took some notes on this thing. Hold on, wait a minute. Figure out how to operate. King Trout. That's Bradley. Lola with the low. That's Tracy. And um, Zodiac. Seven stars. Fish Eye Fool is Wally. And then, um, hold on. I don't know what I'm doing here. How do you get to the notes? Oh, there was one person. I don't know who it was. Who was Renee? Does anybody know who Renee was? Anybody know who Renee was? Oh, yeah, Fire. Fire. That was, um, that was, uh, Five Bay. Right, exactly. Uh, Trout Mouth Bradley. Hey, while y'all in here, do me a favor. Could you please hit the like button for me, please? Um, Captain Baden, Baden Christian, good to see you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ty, Tyler Rogers says, who was the number one? Um, who was the num number one, um, um, you know, uh, dick eater? Can I say that? I just said it. Who was the number one dick eater? I couldn't get that. But that I thought the number one dick eater was a troll account for um, VS. I mean, TC. You know what I mean? 
And then who was Layla? I think Mona. Mona was in there as well. I forgot who Mona was. Um, Jasmine Evans star. Troy, if, if you, the beef sector is bad. Well, hold on. Troy, if Jasmine Evans star said, Troy, if you, the beef sector is bad, just want to tell you see the drama sector and the shady prince sector. They beef drag dots, call police cops, and swat on each other. The beef sector is Sunday school. Yeah, bottom line, I don't care what sector you are in, you got people, and people just be tripping, you know? Um, what's up, Captivating Christian? Good to see you, brother. Mr. YouTube Streets. Oh, yeah, Mona, Mona, is, Mona is Monique. Mona is Monique. Oh, here's how I get to my notes. Hold on. Uh, Zodiac. Oh, Saya. Who's uh, Saya? S A Y. Because she was a. Saya. Saya is a um, bigger YouTuber who claimed the fame was having a Brazil Brazilian butt lift. Is that based on anybody? Oh, Saya's Tasha K. Okay, okay. Thanks, Rico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saya's Tasha K. I can see that. Oh, and then. Um, Fly not Gucci. <laughs> fly not Gucci. Y'all know Fly not Gucci, right? And um, Fly Uchi. What's her name? Fly not Gucci. Y'all know who Fly not Gucci is. Come on, help me out. That's um, the lady in Atlanta. Design her own stuff, right? And then hold on one more, y'all. Uh, fly not Gucci. And then um, we got TC. Oh, Boss and the Bully. I haven't seen that guy in a long time. Is is, is Boston a bully? Is he still around? Right, 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 right. Fly, Fly Not Gucci is Heidi. And then, oh, ZT. Yeah, ZT. ZT is the boss in the, in the bully. I don't know if he's still on, on the air or not. But anyway, y'all, I just wanted to share y'all with that. Like I said, go check out Jay the Nerds. Read up on um, Jay Wilson. Jay Wilson, I love you. But Jay the Nerd, man, he puts you in your place, brother. He told you some stuff you need to hear. Because you think you know it all, Mr. Vlog Father. It's almost like Jay Wilson is trying to be like um, James Caldwell. Because James Caldwell, my hat's off to James Caldwell. James Caldwell is real. Is a real house house mother. You know what I'm saying? And it's like Jay Wilson's trying to copy and imitate that, you know. But anyway, Jay Wilson, you better leave people alone. You got, you got enough problems on your head right now dealing with iBay. Because iBay's coming after you and Fibay, you know. Quanny Love. Come on, Quanny Love. Good to see you. Good to see you, ma'am. Oh, Narob. Who's who's Narob? I forgot about Narob. Because Narob is doing like the entertainment stuff now. Benji Talk VP, good to see you. Hashtag James Call James Call. Yeah, I like. James Caldwell, I mean, he he he's about his he's about his business, man. He don't he don't be playing around. And look, he told you, he told y'all, hey, hit to the dip. He warned y'all folks, y'all, I'm not gonna call any names, but y'all people that's reading this lady's book online, I'm telling you, y'all gonna fool around, sacri sacrifice your channel, get some um strikes. And the main person telling y'all to read her book online is not doing the same. Hello. Wake up, people. Jasmine Everstar, you know who I would love to see come back to the B sector? She used to be called Eyes Married Now, but now goes by the name Glitter Girl. She she read Fierce. Uh, ZT knows of her from the years ago. Okay, okay. Hey, Miss Tony, yeah, the treadmill talks. I like that treadmill reporter. <laughs> I'm probably do a couple next week because... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Miss Kwani Love, thank you for stopping by. Oh, Nate Rob had the butt lift. Okay. Okay, I didn't know that. Okay, so it's not Tasha K, it's Nate Rob. All right, all right. All right, party people, good seeing y'all. Thanks for stopping by. I'm not going to hold y'all too long and enjoy your day. I'm drinking my favorite coffee, Tim Hortons, and having my cookie. Mm. That's why I'm not losing no weight on the treadmill. 
But that's okay. Because I'm loving my cookies. Hey, y'all be good. Thanks for stopping by. Talk to y'all later.